started hiking this morning at Warrenville Road and hiking, walking, whatever. I'm on the Illinois Prairie Path and I just crossed Farnsworth, which was felt a little bit like playing Frogger. Uh, they've got the little blinky lights with the crosswalk thing, but it was a little sketchy because the um, light that's just south of there um, was out, and so it was just non-stop traffic because it wasn't pacing people at all um, or stopping it at all. It was just uh, red light flashing, so it was stop, go, stop, go, and so cars were pretty much constant. And then I hit the thing, and they're not really thinking that it means them, and I've been there, I did that. I didn't understand what the blinky lights were for. Um, so, but I have known for a while now, but um, could understand people not knowing, but I kept like almost stepping out as people like almost slowed down, but then didn't. So when uh, one of the, this Jeep stopped and after that, like the car that was behind it swerved around it and almost um, wanted to chase me down the road. So um, that was a little sketchy, less than awesome kind of situation. But um, the rest of this hike has been lovely. Um, right now, well, for the last, I don't know, maybe mile and a half, two miles, it's been sunny. Um, no shade cover, no nothing, all sun. It's what you do. Uh, lots of bicyclists, um, both sides coming and going. Um, met a runner briefly who was asking if I was preparing for a hike somewhere. She has done the El Camino Trail. Um, so I told her I was doing the Appalachian Trail and she told me good luck on hiking and practicing and all that. I started maybe about 10.30 this morning and I left my watch at home. So I packed up my backpack uh, with a bunch of the stuff that I'm gonna be bringing. My sleeping bag, my underquilt, my hammock, my tarp, my stove and cook kit, my jacket and my water filter, and my, um, even my poop trowel, and poncho, and the sleeping bag liner, and my steaks, and all of that stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm carrying two liters of water. Well, I'm down to one liter of water. Um, you may have seen that on the front of my pack. Um, I'm trying the ULA water bottle holder, um, bungee cord system thingy uh, for now. I feel like when I'm not using trekking poles, it's manageable. I don't know if it'll be as manageable after or if I'm using trekking poles because of the arm swing and it's kind of under my armpit. Um, I've got my phone clip thing clipped to the front of my um, pack strap and then um, kind of just been listening to podcasts, listening to the um, Backpacker Radio podcast, uh, which is super fun and exciting. Actually, I'm really enjoying it. Um, ooh, some shade. It's been kind of hot. Um, not my favorite, but not too bad. Um, I've got the tank top on and then, uh, the Omni Shade, Columbia Omni Shade 
over it. Um, but so there's my water bottle. It's got the straps and stuff like that. I've got my buff over here. The mace. I'm pretty sure my cousin Jeff sent me the mace. Um, but it didn't have the things with the other things he sent me. So, um, I'm pretty sure it came from him. If it came from you, let me know. Um, but it's little and it's easily accessible. I can just, uh, I was practicing earlier. In case somebody sketchy is out here, I can just unclip it and get ready to go. Um, so, you know, practice all that. Um, I've got a bunch of snacks. I didn't um, pack a lunch, really, just kind of a bunch of snacks. I'm planning to be done in time for lunch, or I guess not in time for, because I'm sure it's afternoon now, but um, after lunch sometime. But I'm coming up on a road crossing, and I'm going to be crossing this. This is church, so this is the, I think, last maybe 0 0.3 of a mile before I get to where I'm headed, um, where I parked my car at and everything. But having the shade is really nice. Um, I'm really excited that this is my first, like, with my pack, couple hours, um, just for the fun of walking, walking. Um, I started this trip at a little park. Um, in Warrenville, right off of Warrenville Road, um, and there was a porta potty there, so that was perfect way to start my hike. <laughs> um, uh, it was clean, clean enough, didn't reek. Um, so, yay, porta potties! Um, Oh, so one of the reasons I wanted to get out and do this is because I am trying to not break in, but like test out my socks and my shoes. So on my feet, I have the Ultra Olympus men's seven and a half, I think. Um, I'm wondering if I might need to go up half a size to a men's eight. Um, just feeling like on my right foot, I've got maybe not quite enough toe room. Um, and if I'm having that issue when I'm not walking every day for, I don't know, 157 days or something like that. Um, when I uh, have that going on, maybe I need to address it sooner rather than later. Um, the socks I get on are darn toughs. Um, they seem to be working fine. Um, I also brought my Njinji's, the tr um, hiking ones, not the liners. Um, to switch out if I felt like I was getting blisters between my toes or anything, but I got That's what's going on on my feet. I really wish I hadn't been so vain and actually wore my gaiters um, this trail is made up of very fine Gravelly rocky pebbly stuff that keeps I think I'm going to have a whole dust cloud coming out of my shoes when I'm done. Um, you know, that's how these things go. Because uh, vanity. Um, along with vanity, I did not pack my sleeping pad on top of my pack. Um, I just 
didn't feel like adding that layer. I didn't figure I'd be stopping to take a nap anywhere along the trail today. Uh, and also didn't figure I'd be uh, needing to even use it as a sit pad or anything like that because I wasn't stopped in for lunch or anything. Um, but as I, you know, continue to head down the trail, I'm getting closer and closer. Almost done. I kind of rambled a little bit for you. Uh, 